Hey everybody, Ron from Back in the Fairway here, and I wanted to do a quick look for you at the Cut Golf Blue Ball. This is their four-piece tour ball. Um, <clears throat> I took this out about two, um, close to a month ago now um, with a sleeve test just to see how they did. And overall, the performance on this ball was absolutely fantastic. Um, it was so good, in fact, I was ready to splurge and buy their monstrously, amazingly inexpensive 10-pack of dozens for the season. Um, and then things got interesting. So um, let's start off with the performance of the ball itself. Uh, exceptional distance. Um, really, really great off the tee. Long irons were a good click, a nice and soft feel. Um, excellent spin. I mean, these things were the stop on a dime spin ball. Um, the penetrating flight was actually really nice as well. It doesn't balloon as high up as some other balls do. Um, specifically speaking of like the Pro V1 or the Pro V1X, um, because I had just gotten done testing the Pro V1s. Um, the ball flight on these was a lot flatter. So instead of ballooning up and coming down at a 50 or 60 degree angle, um, these would stay nice and flat and come in with enough spin to stick to greens as it was. So um, kudos to the cut team for that one. Great, great, great flight pattern. Um, of course, if you're a low ball hitter, this may not be a, an exceptional choice for you since the ball does flight a little bit lower than um, typical balls do. Um, that said, wind control was fantastic on the longer par threes. Um, so definitely a high mark for uh, feel and control on the ball. Um, short game, absolutely brilliant on checking. Um, I can't think of another ball that would react as well on, uh, you know, the sit, sit and roll 10 feet type thing. I mean, it was pretty consistent across the board. Um, pitches were sticking well, chips were rolling out nicely. It was a good, good, good scenario for a ball. Um, and then the, the uh, price point on these. Under $20 a dozen. That is an absolutely phenomenal deal on them. Um, so can't really miss with that. Uh, the under or the 10 dozen price was like 1750 a dozen. I think it was about $175 for 10 dozen, which is again, phenomenal. Um, you can't say enough good stuff about that one. Uh, the decision making process was really difficult for me because the cover on these, let me see how close I can get this here. There we go. Right there. You can see the discoloration right there. Um, yeah, so that ball has been hit once. So I actually pulled this out after a full wedge. This whole section here has completely scuffed off the cover. And that was with one shot with a wedge. Durability on these leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I would hesitate to think that after about three or four holes, that this ball would still be playable. Um, if I was hitting driver wedge into each hole, I would have three or four of these marks uh, after the first couple of holes. And I can't imagine that wouldn't affect aerodynamics. I can't imagine that that wouldn't affect uh, feel around the green. I can't imagine that it would be a good scenario for any ball. Um, so that was strike one on cut. Um, strike two was the availability of the ball. And I know, you know, companies will run out of product and everything like that. But I actually went in and placed an order for 10 dozen and was told about a week later that they were out of stock and they would be in by the end of the month, um, which wasn't a big deal to me because tournament season did start on the ninth. So plenty of time to get them into rotation, get the feel for them, get the putting practice in with them. Um, Unfortunately, they were delayed again. And um, yeah, so two strikes and they didn't make a guarantee that I would have them by next by this Saturday. Um, so I went with another option that I actually liked more, 
uh, with similar durability durability issues, I guess I could say. Um, that video will be coming later in the week, but um, I'm not sure if I can fully recommend the Cut Blue because of the cover issues. Um, I would say if you're looking for a ball and you're not aggressive with your wedges and you're not, uh, you're not looking to get 10 rounds out of a ball or 15 holes out of a ball, I think you would owe it your, to yourself to check out the cut. Um, it is a very, very inexpensive ball, about $1.60 a piece. It is an extremely well-playing ball. It spins fantastic. The performance, like I said, second to none. It is as good as any of the premium balls that are out on the market today. Um, I would throw it in with the likes of Snell. I would throw it in with Vice. I would throw it in with Titleist. I would throw it in with TaylorMade, Strixon. I would pretty much classify this as a tour level ball performance wise. Unfortunately, since most of us don't get our balls for free, you're going to be grinding the cover off of these pretty quick. So that said, is the cut ball for you? I would highly recommend getting a demo sleeve. They're about $7, I believe. Um, they shipped my, the, the three ball pack that I got for free. So um, it wasn't bad at all. And I got to take them out for a spin, and I really, really, really did enjoy the ball. Um, like I said, between the cover issue, oh, you can actually get a nice view of it right there right now. So it's right there. And again, one hit did that to this ball. Um, so if, if durability isn't as big a concern, if you lose more than you, uh, than you grind up, I would highly say this is the best ball uh, performance-wise that I have used from a third-party manufacturer. Um, but again, I'm a higher ball hitter, so the low ball flight helps, uh, blah, 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 blah. But again, the durability is the, the key on this one. If you are, uh, like I said, somebody that loses more balls than grinds, I, I can see saving the bucks. You're going to buy one of these or you know two of these versus one Pro V used. Um, or not used, I'm sorry, but uh, two of these versus the clearance Pro Vs that are out there right now or the, the newer generation ones, it's basically about a three to one ratio. So um, great ball, loved it. Um, cut, keep up the great work. You guys are doing awesome. Um, but for me, I'm gonna pass on it just because of that durability issue. I wanna get more than about three holes out of a ball. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the cut blue. I'm going to put a link to a video down below. Um, TXG Toronto, uh, Total Experience Golf, did a absolutely fantastic video um, doing the performance numbers of the cut blue. Um, great, great video down below. I'll put a link in there so you can check that out. Um, again, I, do, I just don't have the ability to do the numbers testing like they do as far as balls go. I can go down to Flight Scope or TrackMan at my ranges and kind of get club data for you, but ball data just doesn't exist for me. I don't have the ability to hit ball after ball yet, um, which, you know, hey, Flight Scope, if you're watching, I don't, I don't know how much data the Mevo would give me, but hey, you know. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't had a chance, go check out uh, cutgolfco. Uh, cutgolf.co, I believe it is. I'll put it in the description down below as well. Um, again, fantastic ball. Demo sleeves available. They have various levels, none of them over 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, good balls and uh, definitely worth a look if you're uh, searching for that summer ball this year. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, there is a giveaway going on for the first 1,000 subscribe or 100 subscribers. I know, big number. But hey, it started out a month ago with like two of you. So thank you so much for following, and I appreciate it. Let your friends and family know. Um, they could win that sleeve also. So um, check out the video before this one if you want to see more about what I'm giving away. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.